today. Today's video is going to be on making a t-shirt and a selfie stick. I already have the artwork done. I'm just going to start my new document to the size paper that I need. We're going to make 11. I know you can't see this like usual, but we'll do the best we can today. By 17. Hit OK. I'm doing this in Corel Draw, by the way. I have my artwork. Hold on. Here. Just going to drop that in place. I dragged and dropped. This video is basically on pressing the shirt, not so much doing the artwork and the software work. This is just to show everybody because I know today a lot of talk on t-shirts and press lines and all types of stuff. Okay. So now we're just going to print it. I used 11 by 17 paper. Um, let me put that in the machine first. So I'll show you. It's the bright side out. I'm using text print all. And the logos on the back go out towards the wall. Oh, hold on. I'm gonna make that a little wider. I'll just pop that in. Using one hand so I could video. Okay. Using my SG800 Virtuoso by Sawgrass. And we're gonna print. So, very simply, print. I go to preferences and I pick my size paper. Eleven by seventeen. See? And I select my Conde SG eight hundred profile. It reversed it automatically, because that's how I have it set up, but if not, you can always come up here to pre press and check mirror. And here we go. Just give it a second, and it'll get the information. It's the first time I'm using the machine all day. There it goes. And it's processing. Okay, while this is printing, I'm going to work on my next project. And this is going to be for the selfie stick. And I'm using mug size paper because the image is only two and a quarter by one and an eighth. It's very small, but I'm doing this because I'm making this for my club, Seagate Sunsetters Club, and that's going to be the logo on my selfie stick. I will be using text print all mug paper, which will go in here, right side, right side out. We'll make sure it's scented by closing in the clamp. My t-shirt print is all done. It came out very nice, no lines. Everything looks ready to go. Okay, let's print out this real quick. Print, preferences, I have my mug paper set up, oh, preset, sorry, 
There we go. Bunk paper set up on a preset. Go to my printer. See it reverse the image. And now we'll print this one. This should get to the machine a little bit quicker. It's doing automatic maintenance in between. So this way I get a clean print each and every time from my Sawgrass Virtuoso SG-800. Okay, I have my machine warming up. It's at 389 degrees right now, it needs to be 400. While we're waiting for those extra few degrees, I'm just gonna come here and get a little bit of my butcher paper. And we're gonna put it down on the platen. <clears throat> I don't know if you noticed, but the Geo Knight doesn't have just a hard platen on the bottom or a shelf. It has a cushiony one. And I believe that's the secret to helping with no lines on the shirt when you're done, is the cushion on the bottom. I'm laying my scrap paper across the top, and I tear a little piece up here like this, so it goes around this a little easier for me. I'm always worried about a little bit of grease from the pivot point. Okay, let's find the shirt. Okay, I found a shirt big enough for me, a 3X. So what I do is, before I put it on the platen, guys, hello, before I put it on the platen, I like snapping my shirt. It gets a lot of lint off, and not so much on the lint roller. Okay, I use my label as my center point, of course, and I use the center of the press to help line it up. I might do this a little awkwardly, a little different than others, but this is how I do it. Okay, I have it laying down. I come back, I get another piece of scrap paper, and my son's method is to fold the little top like this because it helps slide it into the shirt. And ever since he showed me this, I've been doing it this way ever since. I put a piece of paper on the inside so I can protect the back of my shirt and there's no bleed through. Okay. I straighten out my shirt. I make sure that I'm centered still. And my one last double check that I like doing is I measure from the armpit seam to the top of my platen. And I have three and a half inches on this side. I come to the other side, I do the same thing. Oh wow, folks. I'm on the money tonight. I'm on the money. Okay. Now, I take my sticky roller and I roll. This is very important. If you don't use your lint roller, or you didn't know you had to use your lint roller, you do. Because if you don't, that's how you get the little blue speckled spots on your shirt. Okay. Just another quick check. Make sure that we're straight and we're even. The shirt's for me, so it's good enough. I take another pack, piece of my butcher paper. It's non-coated, non-colored, non-coated, flat butcher scrap paper. And I'm going to give a 10 second free press and check my pressure at the same time. Pressure is very light. It's a number one. I'm going to keep it up to a number two. Because that's just where I like it. So you can see, relatively pretty light on the handle, and there's my pre-press. Take my paper off and move it to the side. You notice how nice and flat we are. I give it another 
flint roll, because you got to roll it, flint roll it again to make sure. that we have no lint. Okay. I want to take my reversed picture. I want to get rid of a little bit of white that's left on the bottom real quick. I have my $22 Staples guillotine cutter. Can't live without it. I save all these scrap little pieces. And I could use those for dog tags, pet tags, you name it. Anything small, the little round charms, or even the selfie stick image that I'm using instead of using mug paper. Okay, looks well. Okay, I like to use a little bit of Ditrans 2 spray. What I do is, I spray it real quick, and then I pull it through. This way it doesn't get too wet, and I'm only getting a light mist. Really don't need much of this stuff. Okay. It's about two inches underneath my collar, two and a half inches, and then I measure. I got two and a half on the bottom. Two and a half on the top, two and a half on the other side. Once again, my eye was pretty good. So pretty much, we're straight and we're even. We want to take our protective paper. We want to put it back over the shirt. And we're going to press. 58 seconds I do. I usually do 55 it happens to be set to 58, no harm, no foul. See, it's not too hard. Okay, folks, in a couple of seconds, we'll be done. Okay, we got 18 seconds left. 15 seconds left. With any luck, folks, I did it correctly. Who knows? We all make mistakes. Here we go. I bang it just so in case the image comes up. I push my finger down into my foam so it pops the corner up. And there's my image. How does that look, folks? That came out beautiful. The blues are so blue. The greens are green. The reds are red. The picture is great. And you can see... Everything is pretty much off of our original. Okay, let's shift gears. And we're going now to do the selfie stick. I'm going to use the same piece of... Yeah, of course, Mama. I'm making a video. It's okay. So here we go. Came out beautiful, huh, folks? If anybody wants one, let me know. The design is available free of charge. Hold on now. Okay. So, here's my selfie stick that I got from Sublimation 101. I'm actually doing this video because I was amazed with the product. I actually have a club called the Seagate Sunsetters Club on Facebook. And I go out, I don't know, two, three nights a week. And I take sunset pictures. And I sell them for backgrounds. And I have fun with it. So I want to put my Seagate Sunsetters logo onto my selfie stick. So, I don't know if you notice... But the top and the bottom have two different shapes. The top has square corners and the bottom has rounded corners. So you got to check and see which is where. So the rounded corners go to the bottom. Okay. There's a peel on here. 
I'm going to grab it at the corner. See that? There's a little plastic peel. Stick that down. And I'm just going to take my nice green microfiber towel, which I really should try to sublimate one day. And I wipe it down just to make sure. And Amy Hale does this. I never did it before with hard surfaces. But she takes the sticky roller and she rolls it on her mugs. So you know what? I'm going to give it a try. What do we got to lose? Mm. I don't know what the pressing instructions are. So I'm going to guess because it's thin metal. I'll say about 40 seconds. So I need to trim this down. First I need to make sure that it fits. Okay, close enough. Wish me luck. Ooh, I got very close to my image. Closer than I would have liked. But it works. So, I'm just going to check this out real quick. Okay. I'm going to give this a real quick pre-press face down. I'm going to get a little piece of paper. And I can also check my pressure. Let's see. It's only a one. I want it a little tighter than that. Okay. I got a three. I think that should be good. Woo! Holy crap, folks. That is hot. Don't do what I do. Because you would be a fool. Okay. Got my image. I got my spray. I do it really far out, long, arm's length. And then I bring it through the mist. Because if you put too much on, what happens is it makes the ink run. And we don't want that. Guys, I'm happy to tell you that tonight my wife is actually filming this for me. She's actually helping me. She helps me with everything in my life, except she helps, hates helping me with sublimation. But that's okay. We can forgive her. Okay, guys. I'm going to do 400 degrees. And I'm coming down to... 45 seconds. Wish me luck, because I really don't know what the timing should be. But I'm assuming 45 seconds for thin metal. The pressure is a 3. I'm going to just give it a little twist. And there it goes. That's good. Pressure's good. There's the pressure gauge. And number three. Okay, guys. We hand it back to my wife. Real quick. <laughs> she... Okay, she hates me for that. Mm -hmm. Just saying. Just saying. Mm -hmm. Okay, folks, here's how it came out. My video had stopped, and Jen, could you please hold this, because I want to now take this beautiful piece came out exactly the way it was designed, because I had that vector made, custom, and those colors are popping, just the way it should be. It's a piece of double-sided sticky tape here. It goes on just like the phone covers, the inserts for the phones. Take the curved side, put it at the bottom, make sure I'm lined up. You only get one shot at this. And you press hard and equal. And there is my custom selfie stick. And it's actually a good quality selfie stick, I must say. It has this ridge in the telescopic pole. I don't know if you've ever used a selfie stick before, but I have at the beach of sunsets. And if the phone is heavy and you put it up like this, it rolls over like this because a lot of them don't have this groove 
that locks it into place, and it is a great, great feature. It also has a spot for um, a hand strap, which is in the box. Okay, folks, thank you so much. This is Stanley and Jen Reisler coming to you from Seagate, Coney Island, representing Sub and More YouTube videos and Sub and More YouTube groups and all the other groups we run. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much. Be well, everybody. Enjoy your day. Enjoy your weekend. Enjoy your, enjoy your July 4th. So long now.